Hey guys, who wants some lunch? So what I'm going to do here today, instead of throwing a piece of gear right at you in your face and saying, hey, look at what I use, I'm going to actually show you how I use it. I'm going to cook me up some lunch today. So what I'm going to be cooking this in, this is my MSR uh, ceramic flex skillet. It's about eight and a half inches across. It's two and a half inches deep. It has a foldable handle on it that snaps in. Uh, it's ceramic, uh, titanium or something like that, but it... Uh, it went with me on all my trips that I was either going to go fishing and cook fish or you could even use it if you're that type of guy who wants breakfast or a girl that wants breakfast and uh, you know cook pancakes or whatever in it so let me get this going I'll show you how I'm, what I'm cooking today. First of all let me get out my cook set I usually use these uh, 750 milliliter tokes here it has a uh, lighter in it it has a uh, hot lips in it and I keep a little sponge in it I also keep a rag in it and I keep my MSR pocket rocket so right now I don't need any of this for right now except the lighter and uh, let's get all right I got a my MSR pocket rocket this is here. the gas canister that I refilled in my last video let's see how this works out I did fill it up uh, it was empty and I put three quarters of it back in so I've got my little stove going here and let me show you what we're going to have today. This is, I bought this normally if I have uh, trout and uh, I'd be cooking it up, but I went to fish store and I got myself a little piece of mahi. Uh, any kind of fish would work, really. Let's just go ahead and cook this up. I'm also going to cook something else up with it here to show how easy this is. So this is that little piece of mahi have I have I normally keep one of these put these in my pack I cut it in half usually but I put one of these uh, flexible it's a little cutting board you can buy them at BB&B &B or anywhere Walmart or whatever but I like to make my lunch on these tortillas and stuff but anyway I'm gonna take the uh, piece of fish and I'll keep this little screw off seasoning thing with me I've got a mixture of salt and pepper some spices in there so I'm just gonna take and I'm going to sprinkle this on here. Rub it in on both sides. starting to sprinkle on me out here right now so I better get moving on this video <laughs> so anyway now that it's all seasoned I am going to go ahead and fire up my my stove here I always take a little bit of olive oil I'll pour it in the bottom of the pan carry usually one or two of these with me depending how long of the trip it is and get it coated really nice there's a special way to do this because these pans can get really hot especially with a, a really centralized flame that's on the bottom of the pan so let me turn this down just a bit and we'll see if we can get this thing going I'm going to go ahead and slide that piece of fish in there. Now I'm going to keep keep it on the grill, but I'm going to in my little bag here. I got something else I'm going to cook with this. But I bought this little little spatula also. I carry it in my little bag and just to have it out there. It's very light. As you can see, this fish is cooking, and it cooks fairly quickly on this little skillet. So if you're out, um, it's eight inches across, so it depends on what size fish. Let me show you a picture of when the fish get too big.
but you know you can cut those in half and it'll be fine so we're cooking away here and let me get back to you here in a second Starting to sprinkle out here a little bit, but as you can see, and if you can see that, that's starting to cook real nice. Got to keep moving around because this pan gets gets really warm, uh, but it works great. Uh, but it is raining on me right now. So, that's how you cook in the rain. All right. <laughs> I'm getting rained on right now, but I guess that's what it what would happen if I was out there backpacking or fishing or whatever. So getting a full taste of it here. Fish is cooking up nicely. I got to turn this down a little bit. Turn it over. Again. Keep that oil around that pan. But you could cook uh, pancakes in the mornings with this. You can do eggs. You can do bacon. Uh, just about everything that you would normally use uh, just on a regular camp out. But the, the beauty of this is it weighs nothing. And uh, I actually, inside of it, I put a towel and all that so it doesn't take up my, much space. And I put it in my... Uh, this rain I had totally different plans for this video but it is what it is still gonna have a good lunch mahi dolphins a little bit um, thicker than a normal fish you would have catch a, than a like a rainbow trout a brook trout or a brown trout where you'd have the skin on it and it's usually only that thick but um, <clears throat> You can also see in this video right here, where coming up, how uh, my friend Josh out on Rosalie Lake in the Sierras cooked some trout. Check this out. This is Josh uh, frying up some fresh catch tonight. A little appetizer of rainbow trout that he caught. He's a killer. Fish fear him. <laughs> <laughs> the Sierra fish fear him. So paying it up in olive oil, and salt and pepper. Just keep flipping it. Let's say we got about two more minutes on this. And then I got another little surprise I'm going to add to this meal. My cutting board. You can see rain. I actually use this to clean out the pots. I'll put water in it, boil in it, and then wipe it all out when I'm done. So keep that oil going in there. As you can see. Well, we've got about two more minutes on this and it should be cooked up really nicely next what I'm gonna cook after this if, is if you guys never got any of these I know we all have Idaho mashed potatoes but these are Idaho hash browns and what you do with these are you take in um, a, one cup of water and you just whoo, you just rehydrate them you let them it in a cup of well a cup of boiling water and you let them rehydrate it takes about eight to ten minutes to rehydrate I've already started those and I'm gonna have some hash browns with my all right we're good on this fish let's see it's cooked up nice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna place it on my Turn this down, and now I'm going to pour a little more oil, more oil in the frying pan, and we're going to cook up the hash browns. They've been in there, really only need eight to ten minutes, and I, I don't know if you can see in there, but they're all nice, nicely hydrated. Idaho potatoes, made from real potatoes, and let's go ahead and pour them in here.
potatoes like this. Onions would be good in this too right now. Maybe some dehydrated onions or something else in there. Cook up a piece of fish and have this. Sit around camp. I mean, there's nothing better than that. I absolutely love it. It's why I do all these, you know. Um, that's why I love doing these videos and showing them to everybody and, and uh, getting out there and, and really enjoying, enjoying myself in the outdoors. As you can see, smell a video. Mmm. Smells so good. Good enough to eat. Potatoes. I love potatoes. I guess that's the Irish boy in me. But I'm going to have to stir these up again. Let's take them. Take my little spatula. Ooh, they're getting brown. They're looking so good. Ooh, they smell so good. They're browning up real nice. Yep. Browning up really nicely. All right, I think these potatoes are done. Check those out. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this piece of dolphin I have. I'm gonna put it right on top of there. Dolphin, quite a little dolphin down here. For those who call it mahi, here in Florida, it's actually dolphin fish. I'm sure most of you know that, but for those who don't, I do catch a lot of them. Um, I live in southeast Florida, so I do go offshore fish a lot, and I fish out of my kayak, which, by the way, I haven't been doing any kayaks, and it's because it's weather like this. It's been absolutely either windy, cold, or rainy, or I've been busy doing something. So I, I promise I'll get a, a, a kayak fishing trip, overnight fish here soon. Of course, in two weeks, um, I'm going to be doing that 70 miles through Ocala, so I'm going to be videoing that. Uh, but before then, I got a really, a really exciting piece of equipment that's coming in. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but stay tuned because it's, it's going to be kind of like a transition maybe for me or maybe not. But uh, we'll see. And uh, that's all coming up. And I'll probably be shooting that next week. I'm supposed to be getting this piece of equipment in a week. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, looks like my lunch is ready. Anyway. This is the final product. This is what it, this is the pan. Like I said, it's an MSR ceramic flex skillet. And uh, check it out down below. I have a link um, in there to, if you're looking for one, uh, it's an Amazon link. Uh, if you do purchase this on Amazon, uh, it's just a few cents, a few pennies that go to uh, help promote this channel, and I do appreciate it. And if there's anything else, once you're in that link uh, for uh, this particular frying pan, you can also search for anything else in Amazon that you want to get, and it also helps out a little bit for this channel. The um, skillet, I forget what it costs. I think you can. Uh, it was around $39, something like that, for this skillet. And uh, so anyway, hey guys, I want to thank you for watching. Let me take a quick bite of this. Ooh, look at that. That fish is done perfect. Oh, man. I'm going to have to go in and give half this to my wife. But this is so good. Mm. Potatoes are done just right. The fish done just right and all in all I think that this whole thing took me about I don't know 10 15 minutes tops so here's to you we'll see you on the next one thank you for following Walker's world <clears throat> love it love it